I'm the City Grill, my name's Rob Bohr. In this episode, I have some fresh squid. So I'm gonna do some grilled calamari as an appetizer, real short and sweet. I've already cleaned the uh, squid, I've pulled off the skin, or the heads, all that sort of thing. And the last step I'm gonna do, you know, you can you can cut these in little circles like you find at a restaurant, something like that. I'm gonna go lengthwise, because these are really small, and I'm just trying to pierce the top of the skin here. I'm not trying to cut to the bottom layer of the squid. And I'm just going to cut it open, make sure I've got all, all, all the uh, uh, innards out of the squid, which I think I do pretty well. There's a little bit in here, so I'll clean this up. And there's a little bit of a hard piece right in here, some of that cartilage, and I'll just cut that out. Because I don't, I don't want to bite into that. And there's just a little bit on the other side of this one right here. And cut that out, just like so. And uh, finish cleaning this off. I'll finish up the other ones and stick them in this bowl and then we'll put the special ingredients on. All right, I have the uh, squid ready. I've sliced and cleaned, everything's in here. I've got, uh, you know, a half a teaspoon of garlic already chopped up. I'm gonna place in some oregano, salt, pepper uh, in here as well. And finally, you know, a splash of olive oil just to help, uh, help it, uh, it adhere to the squid along with not adhering to my grill when I put it all in the grill. So I'm just going to mix this up, make sure they get coated really well with, with this uh, mix, and uh, I'm just going to let it uh, rest in here for at least an hour in the fridge, uh, keep it cold of course, and then I'll go ahead and put it on the grill. I'm out on the grill for this calamari to, to, to grill to hopefully perfection. I have the grill set at about 375, almost 400 degrees. I want it at a high temperature. And this is going to cook very fast. I also put in a, a, I don't know what to call it, a cookie baking sheet. So it's really tight knit in there because I don't want to lose my calamari down into the grill, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I, you know, I've got this all mixed up in here. The garlic. And I'm just going to place it on here just like so. Spread it out across the grate here, just, just like that. They're gonna have a little bit of flare up. I've got the oil in there and I'm letting it drip through, and that's fine. And these will cook for literally one minute on a side here, because they're very thin, they're very small. Uh, it's gonna go really fast, and I don't want them to get rubbery, and that's the problem with calamari. That's the hardest part is cooking it. Uh, tastes great, but man, you can overcook it real quick. So that's gonna cook just like that for one minute, and then I'm gonna flip it over. All right, it's been a minute. Let's take a look at this, and they're curling up fast, so you know it could even use a little less time because these are small. Uh, they're gonna be, feel really taste really good. Uh, I'm just gonna cook these for maybe another, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. They feel almost perfect right now. Get a little bit of grill marks. I wish they were bigger squid, but that's all they had. So I'll take what they have. All right, uh, again, I'll cook this for about 30 seconds. I might even turn down the heat now and just let it rest in here for that 30 seconds. All right, it's been another 30 seconds. I'm gonna check the calamari. It looks great. You know, look at it, it's actually moving in there. It's, 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 it's starting to curl over all by itself. That's nice. It, it's ready to eat. I am gonna put this on this plate. I am starving. It's a small appetizer sort of for myself. I'll take it, I'm gonna try it. I feel like uh, it feels about perfect when I grab it with the uh, tongs here. And I know that's extremely hot right now. Just roll on just a little bit. Mmm, very good. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not even rubbery. That's perfect. Hard to get it perfect, but I just did for the first time. Sign up to my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and get the recipe at citygrown.com.